Alright guys, what's going on? I'm finally back to making videos. I uh, set up a whole little office area in uh, my apartment, I guess you can say. So, um, uh, basically ignore this checking disk my book at G. Um, my terabyte is not letting me upload files into it, but I can take them out. So I'm scanning it to see if I can find and fix the problem. Probably because it fell off the table a couple weeks ago, and hopefully I don't have to format it because that requires me to back up a whole half a terabyte of shit, and I don't want to do that. So, anyways, um, ignore this little box that I'm making dance right now. The files I'm going to have you look at are these two right here. This is for custom firmware 639ME9. Uh, and uh, you're going to need to do two things in this video. These two files, I'm going to have you download them as they are right here. And you're going to download the release L Custom Firmware 639 Lite ME9. Uh, and then you're going to also download the release 639 ME9. So, um, what you're going to need is your PSP and you can use this on all models the release now the light custom firmware you can install on any PSP model and the release 639 ME9 which is this file right here so anything from this file do not use on a PSP higher than a PSP 2000 slim it's for the 1000s and 2000s only this is for 1000 through PSP go you can use that wherever you please but this is very crucial and important. Only use it on PSP 1000 FATS or the 2000 version 1 models. So version 2 of the PSP 2000, PSP 3000, and PSP Go do not use it on those. So, um, turn your PSP on and uh, plug it into USB mode. without scanning do, 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 do. computer now open up the removable drive for your PSP and open up the PSP folder and the game folder now what we're going to do right now is uh, scroll over and you can see I have game categories on mine I have a video on that if you want to check it out it's on my channel uh, how to activate that it's the light version for this custom firmware so what you're going to do is the first thing you're going to do is open up the release L custom firmware 639 LME9. Open that up and you're going to see this folder. Fuck up. Open that up and you're going to see the LEDA folder which is a PRX with a readme text. Copy this plug into the memory stick, add the plugin patch at the game.txt. This is basically what you're going to be doing. So you're going to be doing a couple of things here. So the PSP folder, you'll open up the game folder and you're going to see the installer and launcher. What you're going to do is you're going to use the installer first, obviously, and the launcher. So what you're going to do is take the installer and launcher folders from the game folder in the extract files and drag and drop that over to the PSP game folder. Now don't put them in a category if you have game categories. Just leave it as that and it'll come up in your uncategorized folder. If you don't have game categories, then don't worry about it and just drag it over into your PSP game folder. Now you're going to go back and open up the LEDA folder. Go back on the memory stick, like so. If that fucking Toshiba thing would get out of my way. Go back to the MSO root and go to the SC plugins folder. What you're going to do now is take the LEDA PRX and drag and drop that into the SE plugins folder on your memory stick root. If you don't have an SE plugins folder, right click on the root of your memory stick, which is here, create a new folder and call it SE plugins all in lowercase letters. It has to be lowercase. Now what you're going to do is open up the um, game text document like it says in the directions and what you're going to do is hit enter if you have nothing here then this is what you're gonna write if you already have something make a new line and you're gonna call it ms0 colon slash se plugins and then slash 
LEDA dot PRX space one. Make sure it's one so it uses it as the root. And then you just exit that and save. Make sure you save. Open that up, double check, make sure it's saved, and hit exit on that. Now what you're gonna do is um this is for people that have the um, PSP 1000 models or 2000 models. So you're going to back it up and we're going to go back to the PSP folder and the PSP game folder. What you're going to do now is take the 639ME9 release and open that up. Now remember, this is only for people with 1000 or 2000 models. So you're going to open this up and you're going to see the LEDA again and you're going to see the update. So the LED, that's the PRX file that we just put on the memory stick. Don't worry about that. Update. Voila. Here's the eBoot for the ME-8. So what you're going to do is drag and drop that over into the PSP game folder on your memory stick and leave it as that. Now what you're going to do is exit. And we can exit this because it's fucking gay. And you're going to come back to your PlayStation Portable. So disconnect that from USB mode. And unplug the USB cable and scroll over to the game categories. You're going to, if you have the game category, you're going to go to the uncategorized folder which should be all the way at the bottom if you have game categories. If not, you're just going to scroll down on your game list until you see the LME installer for 639 homebrew game for 1.00 through 6.39. So you're going to start that up like so. As you can see, I'm starting this right now. So I'm going to let that run out. And a little black screen with white text is going to come up as do most homebrew and you're gonna see update launcher for 639 blah 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 it's gonna do its thing it's gonna finish automatically and reboot the device then it's gonna come to this screen the light custom firmware installer by a neuron fixed blah 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 it's gonna say a whole bunch of stuff that's it's fixed and that it's updated and everything like that and you're gonna say X to install the modules so hit X it's gonna flash Blah blah, update complete, restarting in six seconds instead of five. They made a difference now. So now your system's gonna restart. So let that reboot up like so. Now scroll back down to the, well, if you go to your system settings and go down to system information, blah 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 blah, you have the modules on there. You're still gonna be on the same custom firmware you were previously on. As for mine, it's 639 Pro B8. Now, scroll over to the game section again and scroll down the memory stick till you see the LME launcher for 6.39 and open that. So, again, we're running another thing which is, I don't know why there's so many steps to this, but this has to be done. Module 1, exiting. That's all it does. Comes back to the XMB and you're done. Now, for all you people that have the amazing 1000 and 2000 models, here's your time to shine because whether or not this does work with the PSP 3000. Sad to say. Um, so, PSP update version 639. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Scratch that. This doesn't work with the 3000. <sighs> this is for PSP 2000s and 1000s and lower. Sorry. Anyways. Run the update. Third process. Step three. We're almost done. So we're doing this. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, ignore the fucking box down there. Okay, here we go. Custom firmware 6.39 installer for hackable PSP by Neuron changes absolutely nothing. So, because we already installed everything that had changed, press X to start update. X. Flashing zero. 
Verifying install IPL. Done. Restarting in six seconds. Three, two, one. Restart. You will see the reboot come up like so. Now. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Overclock my CPUs. UMD ISO mode. I'm going to leave it at the ME driver. ISO video mount. XMB plugins. Plugins manager. That's new. There's a plugins manager now on the VSH menu. So if you hit X on that, you're plugins will come up instead of having to go to the recovery menu all the time so that's pretty fancy and then you just hit X on back you can enter the recovery menu shut down your device reset the device reset the VSH only and exit your VSH menu so now if we come over to system settings and system information I am on 639 ME-9 custom firmware again Rob you have done it I don't know how I don't know why I am blessed but that's that. So that's the custom firmware. I will have the links available for you in the information below the video. And uh, yeah, so any questions, leave me any comments and uh, I will reply. Also, send me a message, rate, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to keep up to date on things like that. Be sure to check out my website and also my blog page, which is updated every time I put a video on. So in case you miss something on YouTube, you'll be able to see it on the blog or vlog or whatever you want to call it. It's like a hybrid kind of thing. Now, who the hell is calling me at this time? Could be the end of the world gonna go find out so in the meantime remember rate comment subscribe ask me a lot of questions put questions in the moderator and I will have an episode for you guys next week I'm sorry I didn't do it this week or the week before last week because I was fairly busy building cars and computers nonstop so uh, yeah I will talk to you later and uh, check out my websites at the beginning of the video you will see the links to the videos up there and yeah, so take it easy, and I will talk to y'all later.